So I run this amazing money mindset manifestation program. And part of the program is a Facebook group. And I have just agreed to do this very special challenge where I'm going to try and manifest $8,000 by the 1st of December, which is literally 30 days. Watch me try and do this to the best of my ability. this amazing money mindset manifestation course and part of the course the students are part of this closed Facebook group the students have just put me up to a challenge they spoke the truth and they called me out on my own self-limiting belief so I have accepted a challenge to come up with eight thousand dollars by the 1st of December 2023 so this vlog I'm going to share with you exactly what I'm doing and how I'm going to try and help make this happen to the very best of my manifesting mindset ability. Oh, I'm nervous. So I'm taking this really seriously, getting cracking straight away. And I have to say, I feel a little bit nervous. But this is what I've done to start. I've grabbed Posca pens and I have written $8,000 by the 1st of December 2023. Lots of colors. So every time I come to the bathroom, I'm reminded as to what I'm working on building, creating, and attracting. Wow, nervous as. I feel anxious, anxious with, but anxious with excitement, and I feel really empowered. And I also have goosebumps right now, and I also want to vomit right now. $8,000. So I was going to wait until the 1st of November to begin this challenge, but I've realized I should just get on with the show. So I'm following my own workbook because that's where I have all my tips and tricks around mindset and manifestation. And I'm going to start with the first exercise, which is about writing down the type of attitude and mindset you need to be able to achieve this goal. And so by writing it down, I'm hoping I'm going to like tap into it, which is going to help me manifest successfully $8,000 by the 1st of December. Gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. Feeling a little bit guilty, but also feeling really good. I've just remembered I had my cash rewards account and I just checked my balance. I have a balance ready to be paid out today if I wanted of $732. This is actually really funny because I actually feel a little bit guilty. It's like I don't deserve it or I shouldn't be counting it towards this challenge. But that's absolutely ridiculous because my plan was to let this build up and actually cash it in and buy more shares. It's funny how we can just make ourselves feel bad when we do actually succeed or have a little win or have a little bit of a shift and a breakthrough. Another little win. And by the way, if you're wondering why I'm looking so glossy right now and have my hair tied up like this looking really gross, it's because I have head lice. Yes, head lice. Anyway, back to my manifesting challenge. $8,000 by the 1st of December, 2023. Yes, that makes me feel nervous and a little bit nauseous as I say that out loud. But another win or another, I guess, empowering decision. I'm going to reframe this. I have just over $500 sitting in a savings account. And I had that money sitting there in case something you know nice came up that I wanted to buy myself. Anyway, we're towards the end of the year and... There's nothing I really want or need. I feel very comfortable and very grateful for where I'm sitting right now. So I've decided that that money is going towards this challenge. And there is exactly $508.35. So it's funny, it almost feels quite cathartic and almost like I'm decluttering and reorganizing and tidying up my finances because I now know that this money is going to be used to put towards my long-term financial goals and dreams and ironically I watched a reel the other day and it was this like billionaire talking about people who have these savings set aside for a rainy day just in case and the analogy he used it was like you're trying to build a house with a bread knife or a butter knife you should be using the money that you've got and get it working for you in a proper way an effective way an efficient way to achieve your goals and dreams so I guess you could say it was a sign that that money should not be used to just buy something that's materialistic and going to depreciate in value pretty much immediately it should be put to better use what other than better use is the thousand project and buying more passive income streams. Okay, 
Off to a good start. By the way, I just had a spray tan, which is why I look like a mandarin. I officially have $984.83 in my account. As I mentioned, I had some money sitting in my account for the $1,000 project, which is a combination of dividends being paid and money that I've just previously been putting aside to buy shares. And I've also got that $508.35 transfer. Yeah, I'm on my way, like almost $1,000 done, $7,000 to go. So it is Friday morning and I'm just about to do my visualization work, but I'm going to combine a bit of visualization with affirmations and really tune in to the vibration of my body and the feelings of success. Now to really make sure that I differentiate this particular financial challenge from my other financial goals, I'm really honing in on the actual task of $8,000. So I am visualizing myself purchasing $8,000 worth of shares in one transaction in the heat of summer, because that will be the first day of summer. And I'm really making sure that I feel in my body, you know, the, the feelings of satisfaction, of joy, of pride, of even like, I guess, bliss. As I achieve this particular goal by the 1st of December, 2023. So I'm watching myself make this trade. I'm in my body making this trade. I can feel my fingers tapping the keyboard, feeling the mouse, watching myself smile as I watch, as I press the button buy. This is going to happen. I'm going to make it happen. So I've just done my visualization work and I've been saying to my affirmations in my head as I was doing it, and I discovered a new money block. I real, not so much a block, maybe an awareness. And I feel like I've released it. But as I was imagining and tuning into the feeling of making that trade, that eight thousand dollar trade, I had an, a feeling of fear rise up inside me, and I could literally just hear my head going. Well, if you achieve this goal, that means you're going to have to set the benchmark even higher next time round. And it was almost like a well, don't achieve this goal because you're going to have to now set yourself something even harder. And that's not how manifestation works. You are free to choose what you want to manifest. I don't have to necessarily go and set myself a, a harder challenge if I don't want to. I could repeat the same challenge again if I wanted to, or maybe even do no challenges. But it's interesting how that just immediately, that fear and that self-limiting belief and that almost an element of safety try to really hold me back from achieving this goal. So now that I've named it, I'm going to tame it. And I'm going to tell that fear to just get lost because it doesn't serve me in any way whatsoever in working towards not only my own goals and dreams, but also helping people, inspiring people and empowering people. And I think by sharing this conversation that I just had right now, and I probably sound like a complete nutcase, I think I might help make other people aware of what might come up for them so that they can also deal with it. But how ridiculous, like, why did I let that get there? I just, I'm going to laugh at it and release it. It's gone. I'm bigger and better than that. And I rise above it. So in my program, I have this thing called staying high, and it is where you continue to ride the waves of abundance. So whilst my savings account is growing and I'm on my way to achieving this goal, I am looking for ways to just keep the momentum going. So I'm now going through my wardrobe and looking at what I can sell. And if you're wondering what I'm selling, I'm looking at selling this Burberry trench. This now retails for an exorbitant price, but the honesty, like the truth is, I don't really value it and I definitely don't wear it as much as my $150 trench from Marks and Spencer. I've been sitting on this for a really long time waiting to make this decision and I think this challenge has really pulled me into action. And I now genuinely feel ready to let go of this beautiful, timeless, classic piece because I have something that I actually value more. And the money will be really valued as I successfully work towards this goal and open myself up to all the growth and development behind this. It's really interesting how this challenge is actually forcing me to step up and get really honest with myself about what I truly love, value and appreciate. And in doing this, I'm finding more things that I'm actually happy now to finally release and sell to the secondhand economy. So last night I was woken up with this sudden sense of fear and sadness about this particular challenge thinking what if I don't achieve this what if I don't like get to the eight thousand dollars like I'm going to let people down and disappoint them but then this like something like rose up within me and was like that's ridiculous think about all the amazing things that you actually gain from doing this challenge like discovering new money blocks creating a greater sense of awareness discovering new ideas to help manifest attract build create 
and hustle some extra savings that may not necessarily help you achieve this particular challenge, but there are ideas and strategies and solutions that you can potentially apply throughout the year or even next year for my other goals. So in fact, there are lots of many beautiful blessings that come from doing this challenge, whether I successfully achieve it or not. And that's given me the faith just to keep going and to be confident in myself. Permission to rest. I have this thumping headache, which I've had all day. I'm not feeling very well and I'm feeling pretty flat. So I'm not even gonna try and do any manifesting mindset work. Whoa, today I'm gonna let my body rest, recover and recharge and hopefully get a really good night's sleep. So permission to just be a blob. Hey, and I've even hey, got myself mommy. Uber e oh, oh, thank you, peekaboo. And I've even got myself Uber Eats for dinner tonight, but it is a healthy, fresh, fresh poke bowl salad. Good night's sleep. I'm hoping I'm gonna bounce back tomorrow because the clock is ticking. Oh. Mama. What's that? It's my. Oh, hang on. Don't touch that. I've had a great night's sleep, however, I'm still feeling like crap. Nonetheless, I'm dedicated and committed to this challenge. Now, whilst I'm really focusing on tapping into the abundance of money and how earning, hustling, saving, creating, building money is limitless, I'm going to make sure that no time is wasted as I'm waiting for things to happen and trying to obviously trigger things to happen. I'm gonna declutter my wardrobe and see what I can release to help create some extra money that will help get me $1,000 over the line until I successfully hit $8,000 by the 1st of December, 2023. I'm not gonna lie, I am feeling a little bit burnt out and I am so close to the finish line for 2023 with Mama. my year ending on what the first. Have have no, you can't have that. But, but um, um, Mama, you know the crown of dinosaur to me, people in Hong Kong are not going to need it. Okay. My year ends the 1st of December, that is my deadline and I am so close to it. I've had a big year, I've achieved so much and I'm starting to get really worn out. I'm so close to the finish line. A week ago, I was asked to do a job and I put up a boundary and said, I'm sorry, no, that's not acceptable and that's not my rate. I will work with you, but my answer is no, sorry. And they've just come back and said, no problem, we agree. Let's lock this scene and get this done as soon as possible. So there is a couple of hundred dollars I can put towards this money. Little wins are getting me in the right direction. All right, let's get this show on the road. I am back. So I have found myself waking up in the middle of the night, like with all this excitement of this particular goal. And I come up with all these great ideas, but in the morning they're kind of evaporated. So I realized that what I was doing is thinking about this so much and I need to get more down on pen to paper because the transformation of stuff in your head down to pen to paper is actually the birth of manifestation because you're taking it as being a floating concept in cyberspace down into the reality of life. You're grounding it and birthing it. So what I have done is I have written my daily reminders on my notebook. So for every day that I have my list of things to do, I have $8,000 written at the top corner of the page to remind me that is what I'm working on. That is where my focus is right now. And also what I've done is written down how much I've saved up so far and also what new money I have coming in that I can put towards this successful goal of $8,000 by the 1st of December, 2023. Doing this simple exercise makes me feel a lot more confident and have a lot more faith in myself that I'm giving this the best shot and I'm going to achieve this goal or has come as close to achieving this goal as I possibly can. I'm actually feeling really good. All right, so I'm officially majorly decluttering my wardrobe with the ultimate goal front of mind. Everything is going on my Depop account, followed by eBay, followed by Facebook in group. So if you like anything you see, just hit me up with an offer. I am seriously determined to achieve this manifestation goal. Every dollar counts. Universe, hear me loud and clear. I'm coming after this $8,000. I think I just listed like 20 something things on Depop. I feel like my head is about to explode, but I'm gonna take a moment to feel really proud and visualize a whole pile of sales coming in. But I know this is all worth it. All right, 
it is so weird. When it rains, it pours, which is kind of ironic because it's just literally started pouring outside. I have just received an email from someone offering me to do a particular gamification challenge. And if I successfully get through this challenge, I get 300 US dollars as a reward. Now, the funny thing about this is um, the deadline is the end of November. So what perfect solution to help me manifest my $8,000. I will admit, though, these little small parcels are really powerful and I'm really grateful for them. So I don't want to disrespect that at all. But I have been trying to, and I probably need to do more of this now that I say this out loud, I probably need to focus on also trying to manifest larger amounts so that I'm not having to do lots and lots of little different things. However, I most definitely honor and respect these smaller amounts because these smaller amounts are very very powerful and really do add up but um wow this isn't this weird that it's the deadline for this gamification challenge is the end of november anyway i just emailed them and said like bring it on challenge accepted i may feel like crap and look like crap but I'm actually making money. I'm manifesting. So I have just looked at my Depop account and I've just sold almost $300 worth of stuff over the last five minutes. Now, what I think is helping shift stuff quickly is I have removed my postage charge. That is, I'm actually paying for postage, which is fine. I'm happy to do that because I would rather these clothes go to a loving home that will appreciate them and I'll happily pick up the tab on postage. So apparently the reason why I was feeling so unwell is I have pneumonia again, but I'm so proud that I managed to get a lot of stuff done. So hopefully as I just allow my body to rest and recharge, I know that I've done the work, hopefully allow the manifestation work to keep flowing for me while I take a break. Also, freakishly today is the 11th of November, 11-11, which is apparently a new portal. And this is where we step into a new rebirth. So there's apparently something new within me rising up as my old skin starts to shed away. And this is apparently explaining some of my physical symptoms. Anyway, I'm on antibiotics, lots of strong antibiotics, and I'm just going to stay in bed and try and sleep this off and allow the rebirthing to just naturally happen. Now, whilst I am trying to make sure, well, I am trying to manifest, hustle, build, attract this remaining money to get me to $8,000, I'm also just completely now surrendering in and handing over all faith and trust in the universe. If this is meant to be, it will happen. I'm doing the best I can do, but I'm also gonna call upon help from the universe, help get me there, or get me there as close as I am meant to be or should be, which is for my higher good and for the betterment of the people around me. So I'm just going to just like surrender, let go, what will be what will be, knowing that I'm also not throwing the towel in or being lazy or giving up, but I'm still working on what I could do within my capacity. I'm also going to ask for some help with more energy. Giuseppe. Hello. What gets monitored gets made. So what I'm doing is regularly checking my savings account, looking at the balance grow, watching the account, the account balance grow. And I'm just waiting for some more money to come in, which is the transfer from cash rewards. And I will have just over $3,000. Not eight, but I'm slowly getting there. So something really freaky happened today. I have to get some surgery done on my eyes. It's just minor surgery. And I got the quote for the surgery is about three and a half thousand dollars out of pocket. And they said, give your health provider a quick call just to let them know what you're doing and can check everything. I did. And to cut a long story short, I was talking to the guy and he said, is this cosmetic surgery or is this for medical purpose? I'm like, well, it's for medical purpose. He goes, oh, well, in that case, we'll cover the whole thing. You just have to pay your $500 excess. So I quickly called my surgeon's office and just to check with them. I'm like, is this considered cosmetic or is this medical? And she said, hang on a second, let me go and look at your file. And she's like, it's medical. Of course it's medical. It's obstructing your vision. In my head, I was like, oh, well, I have to pay the three and a half thousand dollars out of pocket because that's what the quote says. And I've just found out, no, I don't have to pay this. So pretty much the difference, which is three thousand dollars after the excess, can go straight towards the eight thousand dollar challenge. I cannot believe this. And I actually could cry. 
I had to top my day off. I just found $2 in the street. So it is the 30th of November and I officially have over $6,350 in my savings account. I don't know the exactly how much I will be able to sign off on because I'm waiting to be paid by three separate jobs and someone owes me $250 but I won't be able to pay that until next week. So unbelievable and ironically like the universe is so cool and so magical. I've literally just received an email letting me know that I have $13.50 in my M3 global market research account available to withdraw. So I will be withdrawing it today and adding it to that account balance. Wow, wow, wow. I am so glad someone put me up to this challenge because there is no way I would be even $3,000 richer if it wasn't for this. So it is the 1st of December. 2023 and I have I can't believe this I have when I get paid and I've allocated tax and how do I, ex I don't even know how to explain this but um, basically I would have successfully manifested seven thousand five hundred and fifty five dollars so I already have six thousand three hundred dollars saved up but Someone owes me $250 that they said they'll pay me at the end of next week. And um, I have $13 to collect from my M3 market research. Um, I have just sold something on Depop. And um, I'm owed payment for two special additional projects that I took on that I have to pay tax on as well. So that is actually going to take me to this, to this final figure. Like, holy crap, I, I pretty much did it. I am so incredibly proud of myself and I have goosebumps. Wow, it just shows you when you face your fears, you let go of any self-limiting beliefs, you have a crack, you open yourself up to the flow of money but also the magic of miracles and how things can just happen out of the blue and how the universe can really support you and encourage you and help you find faith when you ask it to. Now, for anyone who's watching this going, all right, I need to be a part of this manifesting community. I want to be able to give Kata challenges, or I want to learn about more about Kata's manifesting techniques and her stories and her experiences. Make sure you go and check the two links in my video description box on YouTube because you can have access to all of this stuff if you want to. All right, I am signing off officially from this incredible manifestation challenge. And a massive thank you to Nicole who put me up to this from the manifesting community.